Do you know what time it is? It's 11.48. And do you know what time we have to wake up? 2.30. Which is two hours and 42 minutes sleep. <laughs> Quickly, fall asleep immediately. <laughs> Ten past three. But yeah, we're really late. We're really late. Now I get excited. Yeah, excitement. When there's no more to do, when you can't possibly do anything else, and you're just like, all right, we're on holiday. My excitement levels are starting to peak now. Me too. Although I haven't seen anyone else on this trip, so that's a little bit worrying. We'll probably I'm find sure out. Everyone slept in. It's probably tomorrow. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> I would kill you. We've done that before. Bula. I forgot about bula. Yeah. Bula bula. I wonder if that girl's still going to be there that made the coconuts. What was her name again? Oh, I thought her name was Bula. <laughs> That's when you know you're early. <laughs> That's that first hurdle right there. <laughs> the airport's just not open. <laughs> I don't remember when I was this tired before. I can't even string sentences together. <laughs> I feel weirdly okay. I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know how either. I think it's going to hit me very soon. Our alarm went off at 2.25 a.m. And I slept right the way through it. And, and I just jumped up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how. She was in the shower within like 30 seconds. It's like I know, when, I, when I set alarms like that that are super early and they're like extremely important, <clears throat> I don't sleep through them. I don't snooze or anything. I just wake up and I'm like, okay, I got to go. And I like, just like pump it out. Well, as in like... You're too nervous, you haven't had a deep sleep because you're nervous in the first place. Pretty much. I'm like awake when the alarm goes off, like I'm ready to go. Oh, I wasn't. Which is not ideal because I think I am actually just genuinely so tired in my whole body. <laughs> I feel like I want to try coffee for the first time. Yeah, you should take up coffee. No way, it stinks. <laughs> if you know what Fire Festival is, your paradise is kind of something similar. <laughs> no, that's, that's probably the best. Fire Festival. Except not an epic fail. Yeah, no fail whatsoever. They started it like four years ago. My friends, they run some bars and clubs in Sydney. They started this beach party in Fiji uh, four years ago. And we went four years ago and three years ago. Yeah. Then we had the last two years off. Go back through our YouTube channel because we did like Cloud9 mm. and stuff like that. The vlog's called We Went to Fiji. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. It's called We Went to Fiji. <laughs> there you go. So you can see the first time that we went there. It's got like a million views. Well, let me just double check. We went to. Oh, sorry, my mistake. There it is. Go watch that video. 3.1 million views. <laughs> so, do you not want to eat at McDonald's? No. Pia's got this thing where she's, she's super anti McDonald's, and I don't know why. I care about my body and well being. I care about my muck fitness. <laughs> Forget your neck pillow again, Pia. Yes. It's ironic you don't remember them because they're memory pillows. <laughs> I'm hot. Yeah. <laughs> it is very, very warm. Ooh. Little bit overcast, but like I would say 35 degrees. At least. So the first flight was four hours, then we've done about a 20 minute bus ride. Now we're at the boat port and we've got a 50 minute cruise to the island. Swim, chill. Just oh no, you jump here with the bags and I'll hop over there. Alright, easy. Alright, we are good. <sighs> the sun's come out and it's so glorious. This... Look at all these palm trees. So the last time we were here, we snuck into this resort. 
and did a photo shoot right down the end there. And I don't know if we were meant to be here, but we <laughs> did it. The festival's got so much bigger now, they've taken over this hotel as well. They've taken over the entire island. So all the hotels on here are now part of the Your Paradise Festival. That's the beach. These are the palm trees. That's our little burr. It is time for one of Pia's totally amazing, super awesome house tours. Bula! <laughs> oh, all the memories are coming back. These were very dangerous for me last time. <gasps> you ate so many of them. I think I put on about a kilo in shortbread. So this looks like it is our front room. You've got some nice high ceilings going on. Exposed beams, which I love. Pia is discovering this as we film. We literally just open the front door. And I'm just like it. looking at things and look. here it looks like there's a nice comfy sofa sort of situation. I think this oh, doubles these up are as actually a, two single beds. Yeah, I think this doubles up as beds if there were more than two people in here. I see. But obviously there's not. Great. Um, so yeah, this could be our little evening drink zone. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then we've got two chairs going on here. Then let's have a look at it. Oh. Oh wow, that's really cool. The ceilings are amazing, aren't they? Bula! Bula, welcome! It's so nice, everyone who you meet, it's not like a tourist thing, everyone just says Bula. It's yeah. just a really nice vibe. Does that not mean hello? Yeah, but it's like everyone says it. Like and with such energy. Yeah, that's right. It's like Bula! Like you don't just say like Bula. No. Whereas in, in <laughs> Australia it's like, hey mate. Yeah. Right, here is going to be our little desk. That's my edit station right there. Kane's going to edit a couple of vlogs while we're here. And through here. Oh, nice big bathroom. Oh, epic. Perfect. How good is this? All right, we have come for some food. We've come to Pierre's favourite place. Dicks. I'm gonna go to have <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even get your joke out. <laughs> we are actual children. <laughs> So that's where we were sitting at the cafe and if we come around here this is one of the kind of I guess you'd call it a cove bay mini mini bay cove I'm not sure and that leads out to the ocean it is absolute paradise here that's our view right now the sleepiness has hit me and I'm so mellow I think we should maybe go and have a nap for like half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> we need it. I mean, I still maintain that, but yes. Good morning. Good morning, Peter. Are you filming that whole time? <laughs> please, please put this in in real time. Don't speed it up. No. Just have like 10 minutes of you there fiddling with the keys. <laughs> Everyone will unsubscribe if I do that. Fruit, veggies, more fruit. <laughs> so today we need to quickly get ready. Ken and I have one photo that we need to shoot and yes. then we're pretty much done with work. So we're jumping on cloud nine this afternoon, which is the coolest thing ever. It's like a barge sort of in the middle of the ocean there. And it, it legit it, is in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, it's in the middle of the ocean. So you have to catch boats over there and there's going to be DJs playing on there and like a little bar and everything. So it's like a party in the middle of the ocean. Legitimately the funniest thing in the world. Like, don't film me. <laughs> Sorry, Ken's in his knickers, but I need to show you guys this. His 
clipper just ran out of battery. <laughs> we're, we're leaving in half an hour and this thing takes like 18 hours to charge. Look and at now this. look at me. <laughs> He's got one hair I've got and a one strike. <laughs> this is really bad. This isn't funny. <laughs> what do you just how long does it take to charge? 18 hours. <laughs> have shorts with you, hey? It's 37 degrees. I can't wear jeans. I've got one pair of jeans. I don't know where they are. I need to get the lighting. Come here. we got to get a good visual of this. Check it out. One smooth leg with one big stripe up there and one hairy leg. I also forgot to put the clipper attachment on. So like, normally I clip it so that there's like a, a little bit of hair, but it went straight to the skin. So it looks like I've shaved my legs. <laughs> well, leg. Leg. <laughs> <laughs> that is the funniest thing ever. All right, selfie stick engaged. We're officially on holiday mode. Did you just say, did you just say selfie stick engaged? <laughs> on a boat here that's leaving from Musket Cove. That's the resort we're currently staying at. And the boat is going to a beach club called Mala Mala. Now, we've never been there before, but apparently it's really cool. I think we're gonna get one over. Oh, I think we need to hurry a lot more than this. Oh, can we jump on the back? Oh, thank, thank you. you. Reception, yeah. Thanks. So the way that you get around everywhere is by buggy or walking or bikes, which is freaking <laughs> awesome. So these guys just literally came past and we quickly jumped on. He's in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks. Good See ya. The best thing about this whole trip is we're seeing all of our old friends from like years gone by. Yeah. Like this guy. Say good morning, Alex. Good morning. Thank you. I reckon, I think we'll be going next, we'll have a lot of blue because it's a tiny island surrounded by really shallow water, so it's gonna be super blue. Yeah. Which is why I bought my drone. Oh, do you reckon you can fly it then? I don't know, there's a weird problem with this with the, this area and the drone. When you open the app, it says that this is a no-fly no zone because like all the new DJI drones, they're trying to be more responsible so they won't let you fly in areas where helicopters and planes fly. Like, yeah. somehow the government have obviously I don't know, put on a map where all the no-fly zones are. So now I can't fly the drone on this island, but hopefully we'll go to another island and it'll be a little bit further away from the airport back here, and maybe I can fly it. All right. We need to get the DJs to the island stat. These are the DJs. <laughs> This water, it is so clear. What? Oh, I want to go swimming. And this is the island we're going to. Look at Kane's GoPro. <laughs> just casually entering, just casually entering the pool bar. Do you know what you look like? A tour guide. Please follow me. <laughs> Kane's finally managed to take off the drone. Woo, woo, woo. So while everyone is partying, Kane is partying with his drone. <laughs> if 
I don't crash this drone, this is going to be a great shot. If you see a great drone shot after this, then it's because I didn't crash. <laughs> the plan is to fly between the trees as close as possible, see it's real cool pan pass. The thing is, because like, I'm relying on my eyes only, I have to kind of position myself directly behind it. Yeah. And then look at where I want it to go, and then just try and control it like that. So if you come around mm -hmm. here, you can see what I'm doing. All right. I'm literally just going to try and fly and control the, the direction so I don't hit anything. <laughs> I've done four successful fly-throughs and now I think I'm going to crash. Now, now that, that I'm you're filming. Vlogging, yeah. <laughs> nice! Well done, baby! Any day that your mode of transport is a boat like this is a good day. Yeah, exactly. You do look a little bit windswept though, I'll be honest. <laughs> a little drenched and a little windswept. That was insane. That was a hectic boat ride. I didn't that realise it was so going to be like that. No, I got absolutely soaked through. Listen to this, can you hear the music? So they've actually moved at the main stage just in front of our villa So there's like a little bit of a party happening there tonight Which means I don't think we can go over there and vlog too much because it's gonna be pumping loud So I think I want to go get a bit of dinner Are you ready for dinner, baby? I am Yeah? You want to go? Yes, I am I'm actually really hungry Yeah, me too <laughs> I cannot believe how quickly that has gone by, honestly. I'm not ready to like leave paradise yet. We booked a helicopter off the island. So there's two ways off this island. You can either get a boat, um, which takes about an hour, I think, or you can take a helicopter, which is 12 or 15 minutes straight to the airport. I'm so, so excited. We did it last time too. Did we do it last time? No, last time there was a storm. Remember? Oh yeah. We were with Fisher and we had to we rushed back. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the weather's pretty good, so we're gonna we're gonna fly on a helicopter, which is always great. I love that. Alright, let's get to the chopper! Alright, I don't know where everyone else is, but this is us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Alright. That's great. And uh, now we just wait. Will the helicopter come soon? Yeah. All right, cool. Malala Lai Lai Air Strip. Air Strip. Hi. Hi. How old are you? Four. Four? When I was your age, I was six. <laughs> this is twice in, twice in two days, Pierre has held a baby. He is so cute. See you next year. See yeah. You, so you're going to come back? Yeah. Yeah, awesome. We'll see you later. See you. It's 4.28pm and a helicopter was meant to leave at 4.20pm, but as you can see, it's not here yet. And I think it's going to land over there or there. I don't even see one in the air at all. No, I can't even hear one. So, um, Fiji time is going well. Yeah, but we need to get to our plane. No, we can't I, be late for the flight. I reckon the airport runs on Fiji time as well, so I think we're all good. <laughs> I hope. Oh, gosh. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Quick update on the chopper situation. Wait, do you guys hear? Oh no, it's a quad bike. Still no chopper. Still no chopper. Okay, it was meant to leave. 4.20, it's now 4.35. Oh, I 
do hear one. But he doesn't seem to be coming this direction. Guys, I hear a helicopter. He's coming in. Is yeah, he? I think he's coming in, yeah. Oh. Yeah, good. Oh, wow. Whenever I go on a helicopter, I always smile a lot. I know, me too. <laughs>